Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this video is kind of a milestone for my channel because if you look down at the comments, they are not disabled. I seriously have not known how to act these last couple of days that my comments have been turned back on. It's honestly insane. Um, if you're new here, hello, my name is Azzy, or my name's Azlia, but everybody calls me Azzy. I'm so happy you're here, but basically what we're talking about is how comments on my channel is not normal for me because YouTube disabled my comments back in 2019. So it has been two years. It's been two years of me uploading content with no comments, you know? You know, I have Instagram, I have like a personal personal account and then I have a spam account. My spam account is where I post more personal content and you'll just see a side of me that I don't really, it's not really on YouTube or my personal account. And you know, we'll talk about the content I'll post on there sometimes. You guys will give me feedback, which I so appreciate you going out of your way onto a whole nother social media platform to give me advice or feedback on my video because I don't know, if I was watching a video and they didn't have comments, number one, I'd probably click off. The best part about a video is the comments. Scrolling through the comments, I do that every single time I watch a video. Like especially if you have a short attention span, nobody wants to sit there and just watch the video without comments So anybody that has stuck around for the last two years with absolutely nothing to entertain them in the process of watching the video You are an absolute real one because I couldn't do it. I don't know what Y'all are amazing. So ever since I got the email that my comments were enabled again And by the way, just so you know the reason they were turned off in the first place was because I was a minor at the time And they were protecting me against I don't know, but it got to the point where I was 18. I'll be 20 at the end of this year. Girly, I haven't been a minor for almost two years. So it just got to the point where that excuse or that reasoning made absolutely no sense. And it sucked because, you know, I did everything in my power that I could to get them turned back on. You know, you guys would reach out to me and give me advice, but there was absolutely nothing I could do. And if there was anything in my power, they would have definitely been on. But with all that being said, we don't even need to dwell on that anymore because the comments are back on. And I've been seeing you guys comment on my videos. You'll go back and comment on videos that are like a year old but this is gonna be the first video that I've posted in about two years which is fucking crazy that like this will be you know there'll be updated comments like you don't have to go back and comment on a video I posted two weeks ago because I haven't posted in I think two weeks now so with all that being said we're back in business and today I'm gonna be talking about my updated 2021 hygiene routine this would be I guess considered my summer hygiene routine this has been something I've been doing on my channel for two years and I normally do an updated one yearly or it's almost a seasonal thing at this point but I haven't done one in a about a year now and I actually filmed this video I'm sorry I'm talking my ass off because we got a lot to talk about not even just this but we could talk about anything in the comments because it's just been so damn long that we've been able to have conversations in the comment section so I'm gonna be talking my ass off in this video editing Azzy is going to regret it later but it's fine because you know it's worth it yeah I'd actually filmed this whole entire video before I left for vacation I just got back from Florida a couple days ago much needed I've not been anywhere in seven months so it was really nice to be able to get out of fucking West Bumblefuck North Carolina and go to Florida which is my absolute happy place I fucking love Florida I don't care and the person that I stay with that lives in Florida she loves Florida and she lives there so I don't know I feel like a lot of people don't like where they live I mean, in North Carolina, I don't know how the fuck you feel. Anyway, yeah, I filmed the whole video, but I didn't end up liking how the footage looked. But I did actually film me going into Target and stocking up on some of my hygiene items. So I thought I'd go ahead and insert that footage here. Okay, so we are currently in the Target parking lot. And I'm here to just do a little bit of hygiene restocking as I'm realizing I left my list at home. It's okay because nothing I had on the list are things that I necessarily needed. They were just things that, I mean, there was a couple things I was running out of, but then more just products that I really like and I wanted to recommend to you guys and I wanted to stock up on, but it's okay. I act like it's hard to go into Target and find things that I want, you know? So I'm in the feminine hygiene aisle now and I'm going to stock up on my feminine wash that I normally get. So I always go for Honey Pot, which I have recommended last time I got the normal, but I'm going to go with the sensitive this time around. I haven't had issues with either, but it doesn't hurt to get sensitive, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this one. I'm also going to get these for just everyday urinary tract health. 
Okay, so I love Method Body Wash and I think I've only ever tried the green one, which they don't even have, which is probably for a good reason because it's so good. But I want to try one of these scents here. I think I've smelled this one before. Yeah, that smells bomb. Or maybe... Ooh. Mm. Oh, this smells so good. We're gonna go with this one. Yeah, let me make sure. Mm, nah. This one. Ooh. No, I'm gonna go with this one. I like the smell of that. Oh, also I need a new loofah because mine is falling apart. That reminds me, I also want to get an exfoliating washcloth because I haven't used one in a minute and I always recommend those over loofahs. I've had my eye on this for a while, so I think I'm finally gonna pick it up today. I got all of my products. I went ahead and consolidated everything into one bag to make me feel like I didn't buy as much. Keep in mind, none of the products I bought today are necessary or needed. They're just products that I definitely wanna put you guys onto, just so you have the option, just so you know, just so we could, you know, put it out there. And you can't say I didn't put you on, you know? So I'm gonna go ahead and get some food and then we're gonna go back to the house. So I thought I'd go ahead and throw that in because that's always a fun experience. I love going shopping for hygiene products, but we have a lot of things to talk about in this video. So we're gonna go ahead and hop into it. I have everything, like my whole routine written down from like the top of my body to the very bottom. So we're gonna go over oral hygiene, skincare, like my face care, my body care, in the shower, after the shower. This is a realistic routine. This is really what I'll do pretty much anytime I take a shower, unless I'm on vacation, then I'll probably just use a fucking bar of soap in my hands and call it a day. This video is literally just sharing what I do and what makes me feel confident and clean and like I'm taking care of my body, but I am in no way saying like you need to do this you do not need nearly as many products you can be the cleanest person in the room and wash your ass with a dove bar soap it does not matter so this is all very extra but this is something that number one i like to collect hygiene products i'm basically a fucking hoarder when it comes to it and two like this is just something i'm genuinely into so it's gonna be extra and it's okay for you to do something different this is a safe space talk about whatever in the comments either me or somebody else will probably respond to you i mean girl i'll respond to you you know we could talk it out if you have any questions or you know any advice for me or anybody else that's watching this video so let's go ahead and get into the oral hygiene okay so we're gonna get into no we're doing oral care first. we're gonna start with the basics so to brush my teeth i got my toothbrush and my toothpaste so i just recently switched over from my quip toothbrush to a regular toothbrush just because i just don't like the hassle it's not really a hassle whatsoever i just didn't feel like buying batteries for my quip so i just got this little oral oral b toothbrush it does the same thing the only thing about the quip toothbrush i love my quip like i will probably end up putting batteries in it at some point but i feel like if a electric toothbrush doesn't actually the bristles don't move around it's just vibrating and i really don't know if that's doing much but i do appreciate the fact that with a quip toothbrush it vibrates once you press the button it vibrates for two minutes and pulses every 30 seconds so you can you know brush each side for 30 seconds and you brush your teeth for two minutes that always helped me out because without that i am um, there's no way in hell i'm brushing my teeth for two minutes it just gets dragged on and it's not fun anymore but this is my toothbrush i got this from target it's just an oral b toothbrush it has a tongue brush tongue little scrubber on the back y'all don't want to up close of my toothbrush but this is what i'm using and then as far as my toothpaste my absolute favorite that i always go back to is the crest gum and breath purified toothpaste i love this stuff because it just suds up so much in your mouth you know when you know you're taking a shower and you use a body wash that suds up a lot it just makes you feel clean this does the same thing it just foams up so much in your mouth which i feel like is giving me a deep clean it's also breath purifying which you can never go wrong with because we want our breath to smell good but this is about to run low so two other toothpaste that I like this one right here I have sworn by for the longest time this is the Arm & Hammer advanced white toothpaste this shit I would say is one of the best ways to if you want a more natural alternative to whitening your teeth I would say this toothpaste right here it has baking soda in it which is what's apparently supposed to lighten your teeth I feel like I, I personally do see improvement when I use this on my teeth but I'm not using this or any whitening products at the moment because I have tooth gems on my teeth I have them down here and on my canines and it's a similar thing to braces they're applied with the same products that they use for braces but that's not even the main point it's just the fact that i mean if i had braces you know with braces you don't really want to use or 
from what I've been told, I've never had braces before and everybody's experience is different, but from my experience, I didn't think you were supposed to use whitening products because, you know, you'll go to take your braces off and where the brackets were is going to be not as bright as the rest of your teeth that you were able to lighten. So I'm not even fucking with this shit right now. I'm not even gonna try that shit, but this toothpaste is the way to go. These also are my tooth gems. They can last for years and if I did want to take them off, I'd have to go back and they use the same thing that they use to snap brackets off and just snap them off your teeth it doesn't hurt or anything because i've had some i have put on but then removed because i didn't like how they look so yeah you know if i'm ever really wanting to whiten my teeth again i could just take them off but i don't think it's that serious and then another toothpaste that i'm going to once i'm i run out of that one i'm going to use this one this is the crest plus scope toothpaste it's really minty foams up nicely it actually smells really good like not smells good i mean it smells good but i could just tell i would love to have this smell in my mouth basically so this is what we'll be using next also i do get questions how i lighten my teeth and the only thing i've ever found that works to lighten my teeth is number one that toothpaste but it's super gradual and i can't really promise you results but with these crest whitening strips the most basic you know whenever you think of whitening i feel like this is just what you think of you can get these anywhere crest whitening strips as soon as I started using these I would do them way too often though I would say every maybe like three four times a week it was bad but I started with this brand of whitening strips called farewell which are made for sensitive teeth or they're just not as harsh on your teeth I started with those because initially going in I was scared to ever use whitening strips I didn't even give up before I think charcoal is probably your best bet for naturally lightening your teeth everything else scares me I'm not trying to put anything on my teeth that's going to slow Slowly, like disintegrate them because I thought they were just going to immediately strip my teeth and you know wear down the enamel but I kind of work my way up from they have like a gentle whitening strip in that packet and then they also do have more intense whitening strips in those packets so I went through those for a bit I saw a little bit of an improvement but once I started using these it was over and I can show you a picture I'm gonna show you guys like a before and after my teeth have not always been as bright as they are now so i did have to you know use whitening strips to get them the way they are now but once your teeth are lightened at least for me i don't use them at all anymore and my teeth are fine like i don't feel like i would need to go back to use them i mean i wouldn't mind using them again but i wouldn't ever go back and use them nearly as much as i used to because they do you know make your teeth sensitive these will you know for example if you're gonna drink cold water sometimes it's like really harsh on your teeth i've realized once i've stopped using them i mean sometimes i do still feel it they wear down your enamel for sure you know there's pros and cons but as long as you use them in moderation i think you'll be fine and it's nothing crazy i rarely ever feel that feeling i shouldn't that's not normal but it's really not bad these are the way to go this is how i wipe my teeth the next thing that i'm recommending to you guys is to floss flossing is not something i took seriously and did consistently until maybe the last year or so but ever since i've started consistently it feels so wrong to not do it i know you probably heard your dentist tell you before to floss and you don't want to do it i was the same way like i would maybe floss my teeth because i go to the dentist every six months so i'd maybe floss my teeth a couple of times day of and that's pretty much it and then i would go to the dentist it would hurt so bad to get floss my gums would bleed and they're gonna tell you to floss again because it's really fucking obvious when you don't floss your teeth when you go to the dentist especially for me because my teeth are naturally really crowded together so that along with not flossing was not a good combination for me and a lot of cavities do form in between your teeth so it's really important to floss and then also just food even if you don't see food in your teeth there's just gunk that we want to get rid of in between our teeth i floss twice a day morning and night and now since i floss every day it's no hassle at all i use the placards twin line flossers and i like these because they are double lined they have basically two pieces of floss oh my gosh my nails are so cool now to get them done but afterwards i go in with my mouthwash and i like to floss first to make sure i'm getting everything out from in between my teeth and then i use the mouthwash to kind of swish it all out and then i can actually spit it out this mouthwash right here i love and i've talked so highly of for quite a minute now this is therabred this is the healthy smile sparkle mint version of this mouthwash which is in the pink bottle so they have so many different options to choose from they have mouthwash for dry mouth fresh breath i think healthy gums things like that 
red. I think they all do the same exact thing. But my favorites so far have been the pink one, the light green one, the dark green one, which is Rainforest Mint, and then the dark blue one. I would say if it's your first time trying this mouthwash to try any of the colors I just said besides the light green one because it doesn't taste like regular mouthwash. It has no alcohol in it, so it's not going to give you that burning sensation. It's not going to dry out your mouth because alcohol dries things out. I hate when I'm using, like, for example, a Listerine mouthwash and I'm switching it around in my mouth. I spit it out. One, my mouth feels dry as fuck. I don't want to have a dry mouth. Like, if I want a cotton mouth, I'll smoke a blunt. Two, why does Listerine mouthwash dye your tongue blue? I don't know. I've never had a good experience with it. It smells good, but it also just doesn't last long. But this right here, it's specifically catered to giving you good breath throughout the whole entire day. Obviously, that's a little unrealistic as we're eating, drinking things throughout the day, but I have seen so much improvement. Since I have started using this, it's just so much better. Like, this is top tier mouthwash and i don't like to say that but this shit is so good yeah so i use a cup full of this i swish it around in my mouth and then afterward i go in with my tongue brush i am so passionate when it comes to brushing your tongue Whew. i've even talked to guys before you know even if it's a casual thing and i will say like i you are not going to kiss me do not try to put your tongue down my throat without cleaning your tongue because no like whenever our breath stinks that is coming from your tongue your tongue is what collects all of the food morning breath like everything builds up on your tongue so if you brush your teeth and your breath still stinks or it's not the most fresh it's because you're not brushing your tongue if you have access i just when did i start brushing my tongue i i'm just so passionate about tongue brushing please brush your tongue how how do you leave the bathroom after brushing your teeth without brushing your tongue So this option right here, this is the Equate tongue brush. Ever since I found this one, I've fallen in love. I love this one right here because it just, it does a really good job. It, it does what it's supposed to do. I use that one, but another one, it's another way to clean your tongue, but it's a tongue scraper. I bought this and then I didn't use it for a while or not as consistently as I used to because I got my tongue pierced. It's not pierced anymore. I took it out, but... Because, you know, whenever I had my tongue pierced, I had to kind of clean around it, which still worked. It was fine. I didn't really have issues cleaning my tongue with a tongue piercing, but of course, without that piece of metal there, it is easier to scrape my tongue, but it was not. It really made no difference. But this right here, you literally scrape your tongue, and this one, I would say, is a little more harsh, but I do feel like it gives your tongue that deep clean, and it's going to really get rid of the gunk that is on your tongue. So, I think that's everything when it comes to oral hygiene. I got a little passionate about the tongue cleaning because it's just so important to me. I promise you, if you don't have a tongue brush now, it's okay. Now you know. Go buy one. It'll change your life. They're a couple dollars, and I highly recommend Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna go over is skincare, and I'm gonna start with my face wash. I've been through so many different face washes. Just for it to make a little more sense, and if it helps at all, I have, my skin, it gets a little bit oily. I used to have really dry skin when I was younger, and then I had a phase where it was pretty oily. I feel like now it just gets oily not heavy heavy oil but it's definitely more on the oily side opposed to the dry side i also don't have the most sensitive skin when i was younger my skin was crazy sensitive you could touch my face and it would just break the fuck out now i don't think that would phase me at all but that's kind of just a little backstory on my skin yeah i always like to try new products but right now i've actually used this before and i repurchased it because i remembered really liking it the first time this is the sephora clean skin gel for face eyes and neck this right here is what i'm using to wash my face it has the most fresh clean scent ever oh my gosh it smells so good it's not a super strong scent but i just absolutely love the smell of it this is what i'm using to wash my face currently it suds up really nice recently i've actually been washing my face just with my hands because i'll get little breakouts they're always right here on my cheeks and once they calm down i always have the little markings and anytime i break out i end up breaking out in those same exact spots again it's really never anywhere different so anytime i get flare-ups i normally stop using this for a little bit just because it hurts to you know scrub them with this brush i'd rather just go a little lighter 
tied her with my hands, but I absolutely love my Foreo. This is the, I don't know exactly what model this is, but it's the smaller version. It can fit in the palm of my hand. I got this from Sephora as well, and basically what it does is it vibrates, but I genuinely feel like this gives me a much deeper clean. I kind of forgot I had it for a little bit since I wasn't using it for a couple weeks. Um, I'm going to go back to using it now, but this right here, it just helps, you know, collect any extra dirt makeup that you have on your skin, and my skin just feels 10 times cleaner, honestly, whenever I use this. Whenever it comes to moisturizing my skin, I like to use the CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion. So I guess we're getting a little bit of a skincare routine as well. I mean, you pretty much are because I'm showing you every single product I use on my face. I have been using this for a while. It's actually getting low, and this is a huge bottle. So I've been using this for a while. This is the perfect moisturizer if you're looking for something that, first of all, it says it's good for normal to dry skin. So it is really moisturizing, but it is lightweight. As soon as I wash my face, I need to put moisturizer on almost immediately because my skin just feels dry really quickly. But as soon as I put this on, my skin feels moisturized, but it doesn't feel weighed down. So I absolutely love this. It has no scent to it, which I know is better for your skin normally. Yeah, I like to use this. And then also, if I want to just feel extra glowy, which is pretty much every day, I have this Sephora Super Serum. It's an ultra glow serum. And I also repurchased this recently. Recently, but this right here it's a vitamin C plus E serum for your face and it just gives you a little bit of extra moisture I would say it makes your skin super glowy and just really fresh and perfect for the summer If you don't want to apply this straight to your face You could mix it in the moisturizer so it's not as you know intense But one thing I like about this is this serum is definitely more of a serum than a facial oil because not long ago I would apply straight up argan oil to my face because I wanted to go for that glowy look But it would leave my face really oily Oily and sticky this right here it blends right into your skin I'll put this on before I do makeup which is saying a lot because normally you don't want to put on like really oily product before doing your makeup because the makeup can't really you know stick to it but this right here is perfect for that extra glow that extra moisture I like to use this morning and night yeah there's barely any oily tech um, feeling to it a little bit but it blends right in it's been raining and really gloomy a majority of the day but it's starting to clear up and the sun's slightly coming out and I'm kind of loving it the lighting in this video I have this blind these blinds closed and then I have the other one they're open and closed because I was trying to make the lighting not super harsh oh my gosh the Sun is coming out the Sun makes me a different type of happy but okay so this product right here it was so funny because the last time I filmed this video I was talking about the eye cream I was using and as I was reading it to you guys I realized it's a fucking moisturizer I always use eye cream and I've always said that I don't really know if it makes a difference but I like the idea of using it so right now I'm using the Sephora nourishing moisturizer but it's an eye cream this is the eye cream I thought apply AM and PM to face and neck I've been using this shit as eye cream for two years I was blown away. I don't know what drew me to the idea that this was eye cream. I think it's because it looks like it looks like eye cream. Who would buy a moisturizer this small? But it is a moisturizer. But from what I've heard, eye cream is just basically a glorified moisturizer, and I don't think it really does shit. But it's the idea. You know, it's the placebo effect somewhat. It just feels right. So I was using this for under my eyes, but as soon as I realized it's not an eye cream, I just use it as an extra moisturizer for my face. So normally I'll go in with some of this along with my other moisturizer just for some extra moisturization, you know, some extra glowiness. Glowiness is not a fucking word. I need to stop. This also just has a really fresh scent. I love Sephora's skincare line because it's just, it smells so fresh and just reminds me of summer. So now since I'm not using my moisturizer as an eye cream, I did also have this one. This is the Coco Kind Revitalizing Eye Cream. This was actually sent to me as a gift a while ago, but I love it. It says it's for a firmer, brighter looking eye area. This right here I really like because it has this metal tip on it. So whenever you apply it, it just feels so cooling and refreshing under your eyes. I like to use eye cream because I like the idea of it. I don't think it does anything and it's not important, but it doesn't hurt. So I like to use that. And then also if I am dealing with you know, little breakouts or pimples with a big ass white head, number one thing that I recommend is Mighty Patches. Every single time. Mighty Patch every single time will get the job done. I'll put them on any trouble spots, especially if I'm having a really bad flare up to the point where the pimple's pretty bad. It's really irritated and it's pretty big. Put a Mighty Patch on it by the following day it has shrunk 
times 10 like it's crazy they extract you know the gunk out of your pimples like I'll take it off and it's all yellow and like nasty looking which just to me tells me that it's working and I could tell whenever I take it off you know how my pimple looks the following morning that it's doing its job so that's my number one recommendation but another thing that I recommend that I used to use all the time is tea tree oil so the reason this isn't my number one anymore is just because I think I was using it so consistently on my skin that my skin doesn't react to it the same or it's it's not you know it doesn't work as fast for me anymore but tea tree oil is a perfect way to shrink up those pimples this tea tree oil has a very what's the word like specific scent if I smell this I know it's tea tree oil I personally like the smell of it I have no idea how to explain it maybe like a slight hint of lemongrass and I don't know a lot of people don't like it but I really like the smell of it but I do still use it sometimes I'll add the tea tree oil on the pimple and then the mighty patch I feel like that even works better but this is called melagel it's the gel version of tea tree oil you can get it off of Amazon I have this right here and then another thing I like to use when I'm dealing with irritation is the cocoa kind turmeric tonic leave-on spot treatment for bright clear skin this right here has a metal roller ball so once again it gives you that really cooling feeling this is something I'll use if I'm dealing with irritation and I don't have mighty patches and I'm just going to be you know going out I'll apply this before I head out the door so the last thing when it comes to my skincare which I think is the most important and I didn't understand the importance of until maybe six months ago is sunscreen I recommend sunscreen to absolutely everybody I don't care if you don't burn easily we should all be using sunscreen sunscreen from what I've heard is the number one I just don't know how to put it into words but it says the ultraviolet rays from the Sun penetrate into the skin they damage the elastic fibers that keep skin firm allowing wrinkles to develop sunlight is also responsible for age spots or liver spots on the hands face and other Sun exposed areas the Sun can aid your skin basically a little faster than you may think you know you could be going to the pool the beach whatever you're doing this summer we're gonna be outside this summer we need our sunscreen even if you're not going to be sitting in the sun even if the sun isn't out you still should be protecting your skin from the sun this is the first sunscreen I've ever found that blends into my skin and oh my gosh it makes your skin look so glowy and it's just an amazing product this is black girl sunscreen you can get this at Ulta they also have it at Target which is where I got mine this has SPF 30 they have an SPF I've seen a 45 I don't know if I've seen anything higher than that but this right here first of all I love the smell of sunscreen absolutely love it but I like to put a shit ton of this on my face and I go crazy with this one because this brand of sunscreen no matter how much you put on it blends into your skin and it's not going to leave that white cast on your face that's a reason that a lot of people like it they also do have I think they have one that is clear I think um, this one isn't the clear one but it's also water resistant but it says ultra sheer no white residue and fragrance free sunscreen should be the last thing you're putting on your face I just feel so put together and like I'm really taking care of myself whenever I use sunscreen so highly recommend you do the same okay so now for more of the fun stuff and the more interesting products we're gonna get into body care as far as my body first thing that I do when I get in is I use just a either a sensitive skin dove bar soap or the white soap which smells so bomb it smells the exact same as the deep moisture body wash by dove as well my only bar of soap is being used currently in the shower i don't have an extra box i can show you but i'm pretty sure you probably know what dove soap looks like but i feel like a visual just makes it 10 times more interesting so i'm not gonna get that out like that shit's been all up in my ass crack and everything like we don't need to be doing all that first thing i do when i get in the shower is i get a bar of soap and i use i just recently got this exfoliating washcloth i've been talking about exfoliating washcloths for a while but i just recently purchased this one i was watching one of chloe as means videos and this is the one that she recommended so i ordered this shit like before i got back from florida i had been wanting an exfoliating washcloth and i swear they no longer sell them at target anymore i've been to walmart and checked i didn't see them there either so this one is from amazon it's huge and they normally are this one is super good quality and it's exfoliating but it's really not as harsh as ones i've used in the past which i like and i also don't like because baby i'm trying to scrub my skin like remove a layer like the ones that they used to sell at target i think by eco something is the brand oh my gosh they were so good i could probably order one online but this one is good i still feel like i'm getting a deep clean so first thing i do in the shower is i get my bar of soap i suds it up in this exfoliating washcloth this washcloth i'm like I don't feel like sitting up. This washcloth is going to suds up the soap 
quite a bit so you really don't need to use a lot but i use this to scrub everything suds it up i'll wash my feet my legs everything like my butt my butt crack my bikini area not go inside with this this is way too harsh but i will exfoliate that area you know my stomach my back my upper back my neck behind my ears my arms my arm pits exfoliate them pits everything so that's kind of like the first round as far as washing my body and i'll normally go in with body wash normally one or two more times afterwards i have two different body washes i'm currently using so i'll normally go in with one and then the other one or if i don't feel like it which i don't always feel like it because it's so extra i will go in with a second one but i just won't use three in total I need to find a hot one body wash that i've really been liking recently is the method body coconut rice milk and shea butter body wash this is my first time trying it my absolute favorite that they make is the detox method body wash which is in the green bottle i've purchased that on multiple occasions and i love it they didn't have it at target when i went so i got the second best smelling one in my opinion which was this one right here this is what it looks like. It smells really good. It's on more of the sweet vanilla side, but it also just smells really fresh. Like, not your average vanilla smell. It's kind of like vanilla with a hint of musk. So I'll get some of this once again. Just wash my body, scrub everything, scrub the back of my neck. I'll get like a little, you know, I'll get my finger and wrap it around behind my ears you know we want to get everything exfoliate the pit once again same concept different product and then another body wash that i absolutely love that i'll occasionally go in with afterwards or i'll pick from the two this is the dove pampering shea butter and warm vanilla body wash i didn't realize until after i purchased both of these they smell really similar if i had to pick one it would probably be this one dove just never misses i absolutely love dove body wash i like this one i like the deep moisture um they have like a coconut something that smells fucking fire i feel like i've definitely used other ones but this one right here is also on more of the sweet side and i love the smell of it so if i'm gonna use this i'm gonna go in once again with my exfoliating washcloth and scrub my whole body before i was using this i was using a loofah exfoliating washcloth is definitely the way to go if you can get one highly recommend it so another thing i wanted to show you guys that i just picked up at the beauty supply store a couple days ago is this nail brush so this right here i purchased specifically for my feet i like to use this in the shower i'll get um i'm currently using the peppermint castile soap it doesn't really matter what soap you use but i prefer for mine to be something that's not as creamy because i feel like the dove body washes i feel like they clean you but it also just feels like you're washing yourself with a soapy lotion so normally i like to go in with what i like to call a clarifying body wash before the dove soap so in that case it would be that peppermint castile soap I think that's pretty much it because I normally go for creamier body washes. I'll get some of that on this brush and literally scrub my toes, in between my toes, the bottom of my feet, my heels, everything. I just really like to go in on my feet and give my feet a deep clean. You know, throughout the day, your feet are in shoes, they're getting sweaty. You know, the floors aren't always the cleanest. So I feel like it's really important to go in and give your feet a deep clean in the shower. You don't have to use this. You could use your loofah or whatever you want to do. But I feel like it's nice to have something dedicated for my feet that I'm not going to use anywhere else. So then as far as cleaning the downstairs area, the vagina, um, I like to use, um, where's it at? Honey pot. So some people like to use dedicated feminine wash. Others don't. Some people like to use water, dove soap, whatever works for you. Um, I've never heard good things about Vagisil or Summer's Eve. Never. I'm honestly terrified to use those. So for me to use a feminine wash and liking it is saying something because normally I'm terrified of them. It cleans itself out naturally. So if you don't feel comfortable using a product in that area that's completely fine you can just use water it's been cleaning itself throughout the whole day but if you want to actually use a product in there to give you i guess more of a deeper clean or i feel like i'm getting a deeper clean when i use a product i like to use honey pot this is their sensitive foaming wash they have one that's made that's just the normal version i've used both i don't see a difference i don't feel like i need the sensitive version but since it's already such a sensitive area it doesn't hurt to use the sensitive version so i really like this you just shake it up and it's recommended to use three pumps it smells like vinegar that's what it smells like it's super gentle i've never had complaints this is a really good product that i like to use for my vagina another thing if i'm not going to use this i'll go in with a sensitive dove soap i think that's what i have in the shower right now and i'll just use my hands i don't use anything else under there but my hands because it is a sensitive area bubble it up i'll clean inside all around my bikini line like all around there like everything you don't have to go inside nothing needs to go inside you know you can clean in between the lips but as far as going up as far as cleaning goes nothing needs to be 
going up there I do not do that but I do clean inside thoroughly same thing when it comes to my butt like I will use I'll get my sensitive dove soap or whatever soap because I mean the booty haul I don't give a fuck and I go in you know I just like to get in all the cracks and crevices we're just gonna leave it at that so another thing I wanted to show you guys before I get into the products I use for shaving is my exfoliating scrub because this is another product I like to use in the shower so this right here is a tree hut body scrub tree hut shea sugar body scrub this is in their exotic bloom scent and I got this one because it smells like their Moroccan rose scent which they did not have in stock when I went that's my absolute favorite it smells so bomb and it's such a unique Unique scent this one smells pretty much the same uh, it's a little bit different but it smells really similar it's just blue the Moroccan rose is pink tree hut scrubs are definitely on more of the harsh side so if you have sensitive skin I don't really recommend them or I would just you know use them with caution I love exfoliating in the shower sometimes I'll do before and after I shave but normally it's one or the other because this shit is not cheap and they do not last long so normally it's before because I want to get rid of that dead skin before I shave but it's also good to use after but this shit like I don't want to use the whole thing in one sitting so I'll use it one or the other normally it really just depends on what I'm feeling but I love this product right here tree hut scrubs they're the best you cannot tell me different actually you can if you have any recommendations let me know but this has been my go-to for years okay so let's get into shaving so as far as shaving shaving is a little bit different for me now because i only shave like my legs my arms everything but my bikini line and everything around it at this point because i started getting whacked so actually in my last appointment video, I went and got my first Brazilian wax and I filmed the whole entire experience. All of my reactions are in that video. That was my first time. The first time was bad. That shit hurts. It was pretty miserable. I mean, my experience was good as for a waxing experience. Like for me to get hair ripped off of my vagina, it was a good experience, but it does not feel good. I've had three now and my third one has most definitely been the easiest for me. It really does get easier every time. I wouldn't say maybe it hurts a little bit less, but you really just get used to it and your hair does eventually start growing back super slow and a lot thinner. So it was definitely my last time I went was not nearly as bad as my first time when my hair was a lot thicker I'd never been waxed before I had been shaving had tons of ingrowns and you know things like that but ever since I've been getting waxed it's so much simpler down there I don't have to do shit until my next appointment and I can go like weeks without needing to go which is crazy I go literally once a month but for shaving my body I'm currently using the EOS shea butter shave cream and their pomegranate and raspberry scent so I actually picked up another product to shave not long ago the Dr. Bronner shave soap I thought I'd give it a try because I think it's a newer product and it seemed interesting I had never heard of shave soap before I don't like it for it to be soap it doesn't really suds up much and it's so watery like as soon as you open it shit just starts spilling out and that shit was like nine dollars I don't think it's worth it whatsoever I'll definitely use it because I did spend nine dollars on it but I would not buy it again and I went ahead and got another shaving cream in the process because it's not even enjoyable to shave with that so so this right here I've always loved EOS shaving cream this one smells so good perfect summer scent it's super fruity and fresh and I feel like it really does a good job at moisturizing your skin and then as far as my razor this is the I have no idea how to say this brand would absolutely butcher that but that's what it looks or that's what it's called this one right here ever since I found this razor I have not tried anything else haven't even attempted this has been my go-to for over a year now this is a men's razor ever since I tried a men's razor once I have not gone back because they're so much better they normally have more blades and they just get the job done this handle itself I mean it comes with a blade but I got a pack of them at one point where you could get the razor along with a bunch of refills so I've had this same handle for a while and then as they dole out you just pop this on the back of the razor take it out and replace it they're super easy to put on I like how this one maneuvers so you're less likely to nick yourself in the process because it kind of maneuvers you know with you rather than being stiff and making it easier to nick yourself did I just lock it I don't know what this thing does right here but I feel like it locks it or something. I don't know but this razor is so good it's really good quality the handle is it feels like this shit is no joke like this is good quality razor and I highly recommend it it does so good it gives me such a close shave I have to shave my armpits every other day because they grow back so fast I mean I don't have to but I normally shave my pits especially in the summer my armpits I don't know why like they're just one of those things where even in the winter I don't care if they're being seen or not it just it's not comfortable for me to have 
arm hair under my arms. Yeah, I don't know. I just normally shave it. Highly recommend those products for shaving. Okay, there is one supplement that I've been taking on and off because I just completely forget to take them that I was using. This is what the supplement looks like. It's by the brand Azo. Azo? I don't know. These are their Cranberry Urinary Tract Health Supplement Pills. And this is what they look like. They're really small. I mean, for a supplement, not bad at all. I'm actually going to take one right now. These are recommended to take twice a day. They're soft gel supplements and they're just supposed to help. It just says clinical strength cranberry to help cleanse and protect the urinary tract daily. You could probably drink straight up cranberry juice and it would do the job too, but I just feel like this is super easy. It takes like a couple seconds. I'm not telling you to take a supplement. This is just something that makes me feel like I'm taking care of my urinary tract health. So this is just something I take. It's an option. Okay, so now we're gonna get into my after shower care. It's so weird because everything that I do, it seems so extra, but it's so just embedded into my daily routine at this point that it just feels normal, but it's not. It's fine, but I'm just saying I'm extra. Whenever I get out of the shower, you know how we were cleaning our ears with the exfoliating washcloth? I like to go in a second time and make sure there's absolutely no dirt behind the back of my ears or my neck. So these right here are just basic cotton rounds, but I recommend the exfoliating cotton rounds. I get mine from Target. I just ran out, but I really want to get more because I feel like these, especially compared to the exfoliating ones, these aren't going to do much for me. But I like to go in with a cotton round. You can use these if you want, but I like the exfoliating ones because they have one soft side and then one that has these little beads on it they're kind of scraping it doesn't hurt but it feels like you're getting a deep clean but i go in and i wipe down all behind my ears all behind my neck lower neck behind my ears everything just to make sure that there's absolutely no dirt left behind and a lot of the time when i think you know i did a good job in the shower this shit will still be brown so it's something I highly recommend you trying out just to give you that extra deep clean. Another thing I like to do is Q-tips. I like to clean inside of my ears. It's especially easy to clean inside your ears after you get out of the shower and you washed your hair as well because your ears are already wet. But if my ears are not wet, I'll just, you know, run it under the sink and clean my ears. You don't have to go in super deep. Um, that can actually push the wax further into your ears. And sometimes it can hurt. But if you find the right spot, this should be feeling good as fuck for no reason. Yeah, I do like after I get out of the shower and I've washed my hair, my my ears will be really wet. I'll have like leftover conditioner and hair product all up in my ears around my piercings. I don't want that to sit there. Number one, that can lead to infections with fresh piercings that have not healed yet. And then also, I just don't want it sitting there. So I'll just clean like around my industrial piercing, all around these. Like I'll get all in here. Like I just want my ears to be dry because the feeling of them wet with products, I just don't like. So now, actually before I get into lotion, deodorant. I would say that's like the next thing that I do. I I definitely apply deodorant before I put on lotion. These are basically the same thing, just two different scents. I wanted to put you guys on to two scents, and then this is just another deodorant that was actually sent to me, but I've absolutely loved it since. This right here is the deodorant that I always recommend. This is the Arm & Hammer's Essentials deodorant. I have it in the scent Rosemary Lavender, and I also have it in Coconut Geranium. I love the Rosemary Lavender. This is the scent I've been using for the longest. It's just a really clean and fresh scent. I love for my armpits to smell like this. But then we also have this one, which does smell, it smells like a faint coconut. It's not my favorite. I definitely still use it and it works just as well. But this one just smells so fresh and I've gone through so many bottles of this one. But both of these work wonders. I went through a phase where I absolutely loved Old Spice deodorant. I still think it just works so well. The scents, oh my God. Dove deodorant smells, I mean, Old Spice deodorant it smells so damn good oh like i can't use it anymore because on multiple occasions i've like taken break from using it and i've went back to it each time they have given me straight up burn rings under my pits like it'll take maybe a couple weeks and it'll start by them getting really dry they'll just start getting dry but i start getting burns i guess in the way i apply it but it's literally a ring of burn chemical burn which is really not okay like that's not good and i looked it up i can show you a picture of it because i looked up chemical burn from old spice or something like that whenever the first time i had it which was horrible i did heal it 
quickly with aloe vera gel and vitamin E oil and it completely disappeared. Yeah, like people get bad burns from Old Spice. Like, whew. I'm trying to find one that's not as... I really don't need to show you. I'm gonna save you guys that experience and if you want to see what it can do to your underarms, be my guest. Yeah, I think they've literally had a lawsuit because of that. But yeah, that shit hurt. It burned to put any product on it, deodorant on it, because I still needed, needed to apply deodorant. I went back to natural deodorant and normally I hate natural deodorant because it does not work. It just doesn't work. I just always end up stinking midday with natural deodorant, which sucks because deodorant does have some really harsh chemicals in it that are not good for your body at all. This is the best one I've tried that I think works so well. Native deodorant, I also actually really like, but I don't like how they don't have a gel. This is a gel. So like I can apply as much as I want and it's completely clear. It's super easy to reapply throughout the day. This right here is another deodorant. This is by the brand Natural Formula and this is their healthy probiotic deodorant. It's a solid stick in the scent, I was about to say flavor, in the scent La Vanilla. So it's like lavender and vanilla. It smells so good. This one is not clear so it'll leave like it's not too bad, but it is gonna leave a little bit of like a chalky, not chalky, cause it's pretty creamy, but it works really well. I just don't like to use a lot of it because you can see it. I'm not exactly sure where to get this, honestly. They may be a company that's online, or maybe I've seen it and just kinda didn't really notice it in the store, but this deodorant is another natural one that is bomb as well. Oh, it's vanilla eucalyptus. The fuck is la vanilla? That's what it says at the bottom. Okay, so another thing that I like to use after the shower is I normally like to apply some products to my bikini area and just like the top to my bikini area just to care for any razor bumps or irritation that I may have had in the past. Ever since I've gotten waxed, I don't get any new razor bumps, any new razor burn. So I'm really just catering towards what was already there when I was shaving previously. So it's nice because I can just care for it knowing I'm not going to get any more. Yeah, I use two products to care for that. But for real, like honestly, ever since I've gotten waxed, I do feel a lot more confident with my bikini area because there were some times I would try to shave it and it would flare up so bad where like I didn't even want to wear a bathing suit. It was really bad whenever I first started shaving the area because I guess my skin was so sensitive and it wasn't used to it. But I don't think my skin would have ever gotten completely used to shaving because it's just a sensitive area. So you just have to be careful. But yeah, as far as the products I like to use is aloe vera gel. So aloe vera gel is like a natural soothing agent. It's super cooling. You know, normally we'll use it if we get a sunburn. It's just really good for soothing your skin. So the same thing goes for your bikini line. If you have any irritation from shaving, razor bumps, this is just going to soothe and cool the area and I really feel like this does help. Highly recommend this right here. Also, if you're dealing or if you just shave the area, I highly recommend you don't wear underwear for like at least an hour or like 30 minutes to an hour after shaving because if you go straight to wearing underwear, like whatever I used to shave it and I would put underwear on right after, oh my gosh, the irritation was crazy. Or if you can't go without underwear, I would recommend getting breathable seamless underwear because they don't have the seams that are going to like dig into your skin as much so that's my advice on that because I know I know how it is but then also this right here this was raved about for a little bit it's tend skin solution this is for ingrown hairs razor bumps and shaving slash waxing if I do get irritation from waxing it's right after because you know the hair was just completely ripped off my vagina so my skin's gonna be feeling it a little bit it's definitely sensitive and it gets really red but it goes away within the next hour or so and then I'm good after that and then of course like having no hair there it could be sensitive for a couple of days because the hair is there to you know protect it so you know for there to be nothing there but that just I mean that goes for shaving or waxing but 10 skin is just really good for razor bumps razor burn I don't know if I see any tremendous improvement using this but I would buy it again because I think it definitely contributes to soothing the area. It smells like straight up rubbing alcohol, but like a little bit better. Mm, it's really strong though. This you can apply it and it'll absorb right into your skin. So yeah, I mean the first ingredient is literally alcohol. So, and whatever the first ingredient is on an ingredients list, that's what it contains the most of. So this is pretty much straight up alcohol. Okay, so now let's get into the lotion. I have two, no, I have like four lotions. I'm gonna be showing you guys, actually five. So I'm not gonna take all day. First, I just wanted to show you guys my two go-to lotions that don't have a strong scent and you can get pretty much anywhere. Vaseline lotions, I highly recommend because they're so moisturizing. You're not going to apply them and be ashy an hour later. They, I feel like they really do penetrate your skin and just leave it super smooth, soft, and you know, ready to go. But they're not sticky, they're not heavy. 
heavy they're lightweight but they actually moisturize and i feel like there's not many lotions that do that this right here is the vaseline cocoa radiant lotion so if you want to smell some cocoa butter this is the way to go i love this one basically a classic at this point and then this one is the essential healing which has more of a fresh scent absolutely love this one i'll use them you know before bed or if i want to apply a perfume and i don't want to have like a scented lotion with it because i only want to smell because i want to strictly smell like that perfume i'll use one of these if i'm looking for some products that are a little more scented i have the eos shea butter 24 hour moisture body lotion this lotion right here in the vanilla cashmere scent oh my gosh this smells like a fucking vanilla cupcake if you want to smell like oh like icing this smells so good i forgot how bomb this smells this is a i would say it's a thicker lotion i still don't think it leaves you greasy it blends in really nicely this is like heaven in a bottle it's oh my gosh also i'm gonna go ahead and throw this in here we haven't got to fragrances yet but the pink sugar this oh if you want to smell like just a fucking dessert if you go for more of you know a sweet dessert type of scent like oh my gosh these two together i may need to do this this is a really strong scented perfume but it smells really really sweet it smells good though also sometimes i like to be extra and i have this soap and glory heel genius foot cream this shit honestly sucks like it's not what i expected i'll use it but this is like the lightest out of all of the lotions i have this is the lightest moisture i don't know how to say it but it doesn't moisturize as much as i thought it would and for it to be for feet that can get dry hard and crackly you would think it would be maybe there's certain ingredients in it that help but i don't know i don't think it's special and it's not worth the price okay yeah they recommend you slip cotton socks over top and let it soak in while you sleep that i can see working because that works if you put any lotion on your feet so let me not say it sucks ass yet it's okay but i don't think i would buy it again it's not really worth it but you know we'll try it with the socks and i'll you know come back with my thoughts if i remember i don't sleep with socks my feet need to breathe overnight but maybe we'll try it out it's worth it though because sleeping with socks on when you put a shit ton of lotion on your feet makes your feet so soft the following day if you want your skin to look extra glowy and lotion just isn't cutting it for you throw in a couple drops of some baby oil gel it'll have you looking right normally i'll only use this at night though because it can be a little oily and i don't want to feel like sticky throughout the day okay so let's get into probably my favorite part which is perfumes so after i'm out of the shower i've done my little routine i've applied lotion i brushed my teeth it's time for fragrances i brought out quite a few that i just wanted to share with you guys quite a few you know there's a lot so i'm why did i get terrified from like blind moving i'm not gonna sit here and talk about all of them all day especially because my description when it comes to scents sucks ass but i'm just gonna put you guys on and you'll just have to trust me that they smell bomb as fuck but i'll try to give you somewhat of a description so you don't go and buy it thinking it would smell like one thing and it smells like the complete opposite but we're gonna go in with fragrance mists first because i feel like you can smell amazing with fragrance mist or perfume it just depends on how much you're using they may not last the longest i don't feel like they last as long as perfume but it also just depends on the scent because i feel like some be sticking like all day it's funny because there's been a couple times in public where i'll smell people like i can tell what they're wearing i've been able to tell from in the stars because this is like my signature scent no matter what i use this will always be my signature scent i always go back to it also chanel mademoiselle whenever i was touring apartments when i was moving back to raleigh she had chanel mademoiselle on like she was touring us and i was walking behind her so that's when normally you can smell perfume like if you ever want to smell yourself like i'll spray perfume and then if i'm leaving my place for example like i'll walk and you can smell like little trail that you're leaving i could just tell what she was wearing and i'd ask her like are you wearing chanel mademoiselle she was like yes but as far as fragrance mist in the stars it's like i would say it's a more feminine cologne that's how i could describe it i don't think scents have genders whatsoever you can smell like whatever the hell you want to but if we're thinking like stereotypes like this would be more of like a feminine smelling cologne it just it smells like a sweet cologne kind of but it's not too musky I don't know how to explain this shit, but it's a mixture of sweet and musky and oh, it just smells so good. Another fragrance mist I like is You're the One by Bath and Body Works. This smells so good. It smells like professional, like you're about to go to a fucking business meeting or something. Mmm, it smells so bomb. You're the One smells so good. Another scent or another fragrance mist that I like is by Victoria's Secret and this is Velvet Petals. Oh my gosh. Ooh, it smells so good. I love velvet petals. I'm definitely a fan of sweet and fresh scents. This definitely does it for me. I have so many different 
different fragrance mists I could show you guys and I feel like I should because not everybody wants to spend a fucking like blow their perfume is expensive for no reason it's like scented alcohol but there's so many different alternatives I don't, I can't get down with this. Whenever I first got it, I liked it. It smells good. Once again, if I were to smell it on somebody else, I'd be like, damn, you smell good. But it smells like, kind of like buttered popcorn. You So Sexy by Victoria's Secret is the perfect fresh out of the shower scent. Like you literally smell like you just got out of the shower all day. It's a super light, fresh scent. It smells so good. I think this is actually discontinued but if you go to a Victoria's Secret outlet they normally carry fragrances that they no longer sell in store that's where I found these and I also found the actual perfume version of it on fragrancenet.com so any perfumes that I'm about to show you guys if you're interested in them I definitely I mean I always recommend smelling them in person first and if you see a fragrance you like and it's really pricey if you go to fragrancenet.com they are always having sales 20% off. They're always gonna give you some money off and you're gonna get it for a lot less than you would in store As far as perfumes, I recommend perfume if you are just looking for something that's a little more long-lasting But I honestly feel like both do the job. I actually do have one fragrance here that smells like literally the first time I smelled this shit I don't even have words, but it doesn't last long, which sucks because it's so good, but it's not concentrated whatsoever. I swear this is water with a slight hint of fragrance in it. It smells so strong, but it just fades so quickly. Ooh, this is Calvin Klein Everyone. And the reason they call it Everyone is because they say it's made for everyone. It works like if a guy were to smell like this, I'd be like, holy fuck, like you smell so good. If it was a girl, I would say the same shit. It just works for everyone. It does have kind of somewhat of like a cologne scent, but it's very fresh, very clean smelling. I don't know what they put in this shit, but it smells so good. One of my favorite scents recently, I just picked this up at one of the malls in Florida when I was up there or when I was down there. It's a Burberry perfume. I don't know the exact one that this is. I know the Burberry Her perfume looks just like this, but it's in a bottle that's similar to the color of my shirt. Or the perfume is like pink. But this one is kind of tannish brown. And I love the smell of the regular Burberry, but I smelled this one. Oh my gosh. Like, I had Lee, Alyssa, and Paige smell it when I got it in Florida. And they said it just smells like, it smells like you got your shit together. It's a more mature scent, but not like grainy couch mature scent. It just smells so good. You have to smell it. I got it at Sephora. So if you do want to smell it in store, they have it there. Another one that I've put you guys onto, and some of you guys have told me like you got it and you really like it and you get compliments on it, is the Prada Candy Perfume. I've used so much of this as well because it's definitely a more faint scent. I feel like it's it lasts quite a long time but it's so faint the scent of it if I'm wearing perfume I want you to be able to smell it but not to the point where it gives you a headache so it's kind of hard to find that balance but this right here smells so good to me it smells like dr. pepper but like it definitely smells a little bit like dr. pepper if you guys have any like a better description for any of these fragrances that I'm talking about you should comment down below since we have comments now because I suck at this shit but this smells so good it's a very unique scent. Another scent that I love is the Glossier You Perfume. This is Glossier's only fragrance, and I love this because it's called You Perfume because it smells different on everybody and just kind of... But then again, I feel like it's like that with every fragrance. Um, I think every fragrance smells different on everybody. Um, but this right here, this is a very, very unique scent. You can never go wrong with this. If you're looking for something that's kind of faint unique like you want to smell different it's fresh it's crisp a little bit powdery but not to the point where it smells like baby powder or a mothball i feel like you'll either love it or you'll hate it the last fragrance that i'm going to share with you guys that i really recommend is the chance chanel perfume this is the green one i don't know exactly what it's called or how to pronounce it not even gonna try but i do have the pink one as well these are two very different scents but this one right here first of all it just reminds me of when i first moved into this apartment because this was a perfume i was using like crazy when i moved in because you know you'll use one scent for a certain period of time and it'll forever be connected and attached to that memory or that phase of your life it's crazy but this smells oh my gosh it's very fresh once again kind of like a shower scent after shower scent oh my gosh i don't know how to explain it but it's so unique it doesn't smell slightly it's not musky but it's not what you would expect it to smell like i don't know how to explain it but it smells so good and just so you know let me put y'all on to one more this mixed with perfect by mark jacobs amazing Ooh, and even this alone y'all i got so many perfumes we could sit here and talk about perfume all day 
but I'm not gonna drag it on too long. With all of those fragrances being shown and all of those products being mentioned, that is my updated 2021 hygiene routine. This is what we're gonna be doing throughout the summer. To just take care of our body, smell good. I'm always picking up a new product, trying something different, wearing a different fragrance. I'm gonna smell different every single day. I've tried to have a signature scent and I did for a while, which was this in the stars right here. You can tell, I don't know why the hell I'm so passionate about this shit, but I most definitely am and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video you know maybe got some advice i so enjoyed filming it for you guys and i'm already so excited to put this sd card into my laptop and put it together for you guys so with all that being said i really hope you enjoyed this video i'm so excited for us to start this summer with a fucking comment section so with all that being said i love you all so much thank you guys so much for watching this video you guys mean so much to me i hope you have an amazing rest of your day and i'll see you guys in my next video bye